engineering supremo Jimmy Deville is departing his own workshop to meet some of the UK's most advanced modifiers to show us how to make our motors perform better without breaking the bank. There are loads of workshops, fabricators and specialist tuners all over the country that can add a little bit of magic to our cars. Today, I'm in the heartland of Void Racer country, Essex. I've come to visit Gaz Shocks, experts in suspension, a component of a car that is critical to performance and can easily be modified. These guys produce custom-built shock absorbers, also known as dampers, for everything from track to rally cars. I'm here to build my own and explain what improved shocks can do for our car's handling. But before we get into that, let's clear up why we need suspension in the first place. If all our roads were literally as smooth as this workshop floor, we wouldn't need suspension. But of course, they aren't. Even the best roads have imperfections, and this trolley's got no suspension. So every time it hits a rut or a bump, no matter how small, it drops down or it jumps up. In other words, instead of travelling horizontally along the road, the vehicle is also moving vertically. And that's bad news for a variety of reasons. Firstly, it's flipping uncomfortable. Secondly, it wastes energy, which for the average driver means we're wasting fuel and money. Because every time the wheels hit a bump, they lose contact with the ground. And this means the ones connected to the engine can no longer drive the car forward. And thirdly, it's positively dangerous, because if a wheel is in the air, it can no longer brake the car or steer it. So how does suspension fix this? Although there are many different designs of suspension, they all need to solve two main problems. Firstly, they need to absorb energy, so that when you go over a bump, your fillings don't fall out. And that's where the good old-fashioned spring comes in. The trouble is, a spring on its own creates another issue because they're a bit useless at dissipating energy. Once they've started expanding and contracting, they don't like to stop. Which is why your car's suspension unit is made up of springs and that second component, shock absorbers, AKA dampers, without which you'd be in for a much bumpier ride. As an extreme demonstration of how clapped out shocks can ruin your ride, I've taken the dampers out of this car so only the spring section of the suspension unit is working. And I tell you what, the result is horrendous. It's like driving a possessed pogo stick. Do not do this to your own vehicles at home. It's very dangerous, and it also makes you feel quite sick. Nasty. So you need something to calm everything down. You need a damper. To demonstrate simply how a damper works, I've got this syringe filled with oil. Now, when I push down on the syringe, Gently, oil flows out. Now, if I increase the push through that hole, there's restriction or dampening. Now, it doesn't matter how hard I push, the oil will only flow through that hole at a certain rate. And it's that flow rate that gives me dampening. That's the theory. Now, here's how it works in practice. Now, this type is a twin tube shock absorber, and it's probably the most common shock absorber, and it has this small tube inside this bigger tube. Now, they're both filled with oil, and when the oil is pushed from this tube to that tube through a small hole, it's that restriction in the fluid movement that causes the dampening that we need to stop our cars bouncing up and down. Time to get my hands properly dirty and construct some uprated shocks for the BMW under the watchful eye of Byron, one of the workshop's top technicians. So, Byron, which markets do you make shocks for? Uh, predominantly, it's with track cars, rally cars, competition spec. And you also will make a custom shock for anyone who needs something different or slightly unique? Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot of customers come in and they bring their shocks in for specific cars, particularly classic cars. It's all manufactured in-house. It's all made from scratch. We can make anything. A whole world of shock. A whole world of it, yeah. <laughs> but don't think that aftermarket shock absorbers are only for specialist uses. By upgrading your suspension, you can improve the handling of your car, improve braking and prolong the life of your tyres. But even the best shocks need to be well maintained. Shock absorbers do wear out after time, and then you're going to get handling much like I had in that BMW earlier. There's not going to be much dampening, the ride's going to be bouncy, and it's also not safe. The specialist oil used in the improved shock is better at dealing with heat, and so will stay viscous for longer. This part is called the gland, and these are actually the holes that restrict that oil flow 
giving the damper that dampening effect. So this is the piston that moves the oil between the two tubes through that restriction. Now I'm inserting the rod and sealing the damper. Compared to a standard shock, my uprated ones have thicker, stronger rods, and that improved rigidity will improve handling. So that's the damper done. Now let's just compare it to this one with no oil in it. This one, easy, right. easy, no resistance whatsoever. However, this one we've just assembled, you've got to push down really quite hard. I mean, there's no quick movement I mean, no. happening there. Oh. And finally, it's just a case of adding the spring. So that's the complete suspension unit. All I've got to do now is put it back on the BMW. My improved shocks also have superior valves on them, meaning better and, crucially, over a standard shock, adjustable oil flow. This is really a two-man job, so I've got Byron doing up the top mount while I work on the bottom half. Notice I've got my dampening adjuster to the rear for easy access, and that can actually control the amount of dampening this has, depending on what sort of ride I require. By adjusting the valve on the back of the shock, I can make the ride of this BMW softer or stiffer. For an everyday ride, you want to go softer. Of course, there's three other corners to deal with, but the boys have already sorted that. And job done. It's time to test my workmanship and see the benefit of the uprated shocks over the standard ones. <laughs> Now that we've changed these shocks, the ride of this car has completely transformed. The new shocks will improve the weight transfer and keep the car flatter under cornering. And that, my friends, is what good suspension will do. There we go, bump. <laughs> Smooth as silk.